fact, who amongst us has not wondered what the heck was going on in the head of their CEO? Founders, quite typically, they describe the business as being their baby, which is a little bit dangerous. Let's be, let's be clear, because it's not your child, right? I often get CEOs will speak to me. They'll say things to me like, I'm just too busy. I need to clone myself. I've got too many direct reports. I've got too much on my plate. You can no longer be a product expert and be a CEO because you have to be, in essence, an expert across a number of fields or really let the whole, let go of the whole identity of being an expert at that level. Typically, what you see is them going to a place of safety and not necessarily engaging with you as deeply as they could do in that situation. And so what typically we do, all of us do in that situation ourselves, is we go back to our superpower of the way we talk. But the reality is, is you can just watch them operate to understand, right? If they're talking more strategically, you know which phase they're in, right? If they're talking more about challenges and getting things done and things that seem a lot more urgent, then they're almost certainly in that challenge phase. You can understand by the way they talk as to which of those two phases they're in. There's always going to be fires and challenges and cha stuff that happens. It's your attitude towards them as they do happen that really sets you apart as a leader in these sorts of situations, right? The challenges rarely go away. The ability to manage them and to prioritize them is the thing that really ultimately changes. It, it aligns with like experiences of other people and stuff, which can be like a really helpful gauge of like what you're doing but can also be like really really annoying <laughs> as a product person where you want to be led by data and customers and when you hit the ceo role in essence it's the most lonely job in the organization one of the questions i get quite a lot with the ceos that i work with in fact pretty much all of them at some point ask me is they ask me the question am, am i doing this right is this the right way to do this the best ceos out there will will, will speak to and work to you especially the people who are closest to customers and who are, especially the technology organization and teams like products who are, in essence, delivering the, the, the business value. So many times it's either misunderstood or missing. Is it linking that up? <laughs> oh, it's way more than that. <laughs> how can you complement the work of the sales team? How can you work with the commercial team better? How can you become friends with them? So as a product leader, you can help them by understanding how they can work better with you. Maybe you can tell them, here's what would be really helpful for me to be able to work better for you. To be honest, working with the CEOs that I work with about product and product teams generally is they are too disconnected from the commercial side of the organization. They are too focused on roadmap, on shipping, on features. What I hear from the CEOs is they, they don't have the commercial understanding or acumen to work closely enough with the commercial organization to really deliver what the commercial side of the organization needs. So the first thing they can do is really follow their curiosity about the commercial side of the organization. The reality is, is you understanding at a deep level how the commercial team operate. So if you're working in the SaaS world, absolutely, right? You need to know how the salespeople sell. The reality is, is you have to have a deep understanding of how salespeople operate and how they work. In the more B2C world, that's, again, understanding those economics at scale. So the reality is, is understanding those two important differences and really following your a deep curiosity with the folks in the commercial side of the organization. And that means building strong links with them. I think what people are really great at is abstracting layers up from that. So for those people that are thinking, you know, the CEO is the, the role that they're ultimately aiming for. Obviously, you've just talked about commercial awareness, but what else? The reality is to make that next step, you need to move beyond that. None of us are ever ready to be a parent. Okay, You can't comprehend the complexity of the world that you're entering. The reality is the same is true of being a CEO, right? The level of complexity at that level is never going to, you know, you're never going to be wholly prepared for it. The only way you can really do it is by, you know, is by doing it, right? There's no sort of CEO school you can go to that's going to get you to that point when you're there. 